So a couple of weeks ago, we drove a stock Skoda Yeti 2 liter 4x4, and that got us thinking. Since it has the same engine that's found in the Lora 2 liter TDI, we thought, what happens when you take this Skoda Yeti and you push it up? To stage 3. Well, this particular car has a CR177 turbo slapped onto it, and I'm gonna tell you all about this amazing car today. So, yes, I did say that this is a stage 3 Scott Ayeti, but this is the way that I like my builds. Super sleeper, I mean, no wheels, no flashy paint, no spoilers, nothing. It looks stock, and that's the best part is that when you're at a stoplight and you think that you can beat this thing, I am pretty sure that this thing can absolutely smoke you on a red light. But let me just talk about a couple of things that I love about the Yeti design. And if you want to know more about what we think of the Yeti's design, you can check out the stock car that we reviewed a couple of weeks ago. But coming back to some cool features that I like about it, well, first of all, I love the fact that Skoda has blacked out the A pillar and the C pillar, which makes the roof look like it's floating. And I just love the fact about that. Uh, then I love the boxy shape of the Yeti. It just looks so cool cool so quirky and on the front I love the split headlight design and yep just like the exterior the engine bay doesn't look flashy at all and I mean even if you open up the engine bay at a car meet I'm pretty sure no one will suspect that this is a stage 3 beast underneath because this has to be one of the most bare basic stage 3 builds that I've ever seen but somehow it works very flawlessly. So the only thing that has been changed in the car are two things. One is the remap which is now a stage 3 auto descent performance uh, tune and two is the CR177 turbo. Stock this car used to come with a CR140 and uh, the owner has now upgraded to a CR177 and apart from that everything else in the car is bone stock and now this setup produces 200 bhp and 450 newton meters of torque and it's mated to a six-speed manual gearbox and a Haldex all-wheel drive system let's take it onto the road and do a quick little launch to see how it feels once you actually start pushing this thing So, as I've just said in the video that this stage 3 build is actually quite a bare basic stage 3 build. You just have the CR177 turbo. There's no downpipe, there's no intercooler and you just have the turbo and the stage 3 tune. So, let's see how a bare basic stage 3 Yeti with a CR177 turbo feels like. So, I'm gonna lay my foot flat to the floor. And once it goes into the turbo's boost range and this thing absolutely flies. And the best part is that there's no drama because this has the Haldex 4x4 system. So whenever the system feels that there's some sort of slip happening at any wheel, it sends uh, extra power or extra power to a different wheel so that the car stays planted and stays uh, gripped all of the time. And what makes this driving experience so fun, even if it's an SUV, is that it has a six-speed manual gearbox, which is super fun to drive with. And the gating is just perfect. I love the throttle response and this tune by Auto Diesel Performance is just, just like my car. That's why I love their tune so much. It's super usable, super dailyable, and the tune is super powerful once you get into its uh, boost range. Now, when it comes to mods, you can do quite a lot of mods to the Yeti 2 liter uh, 4x4. So, first of all, the CR177 Turbo is there. And let me just tell you what are the advantages of adding the CR177. So, first off, the 140 and the CR170 or 177, they're not that different they're more or less the same turbo just maybe a little bit bigger in size but the advantage of the 177 is that even if the torque figures might be fairly 
similar to the CR140, the 177 can basically keep the torque up throughout the rev range so it can hold that torque curve for much longer than a CR140 that is the main advantage of it and that's definitely felt because you can feel that gush of torque throughout the rev range now you can do an intercooler which will help keep the engine temperature nice and low uh, basically it helps the engine run a little better it can help you make that power more consistently uh, over time and yeah an intercooler is a mod that i would do if i'm going stage three but this particular owner he just wanted a nice dailyable car which has tons of torque and to be very frank since this car is part of the vag family and everything is just parts bin parts here and there you know this cr 177 is working just fine with all of these stock parts around it now of course i would suggest that a downpipe should be done if you're going stage 3 because it will help uh, unlock some of that potential that the turbo might be hiding because the flow of the air and the gases is not going to be as seamless as uh, a performance downpipe would unlock that sort of performance so definitely if i were to do a car like this an intercooler a performance downpipe and definitely an intake would be on my list but the best part about the Yeti and a car like this and tuning it is that even if it has tons of power, 200 bhp and probably 450 newton meters of torque, it's still an SUV. So you have all of the practicality of an SUV. So tons of room in the back. You have a good amount of boot space. And most impressive is that you don't have to worry about potholes you can just run over through them because it's an suv whereas if you would have done a laura 2 liter tdi to stage 3 you would have to think twice before going over potholes because well it's a sedan at the end of the day whereas this can take potholes can take bad roads and can do basically anything that you want and that's the cool thing about the Skoda Yeti is that it can do 200 kilometers an hour on the highway and keep up with Lauras, Octavias and all of that kind of stuff. Yet, when you go off-road, it can still hold its own against proper off-roaders like Endeavours, Fortuners still an extent. And that is why the Yeti is probably one of the coolest tuner cars you can get as a family man. So if you're a family man and you want something which is practical, something that will take your kids to school, something that will also rip a sedan apart at the stoplight well i can't think of a car which is better than a scott iet it can keep up with fortuners and endeavors till an extent on off-road situations and can still do 200 kilometers an hour on the highway very easily and especially this stage 3 build shows that you don't have to spend tons of money on making your car super fast because probably the owner has spent probably 1 lakh rupees on the turbo and the tune and you have a car which produces over 200 horsepower now so this uh, stage 3 Squad IIT is a very impressive build and if you're a family man looking to get something which is fun to drive on a daily basis, go for the Squad IIT. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do check out a new channel called TDH Motorsport where we will be covering everything related to motorsport, stuff like Formula 1, WRC, Le Mans, etc, etc. Do give us a follow on Instagram as well for some amazing content. Uh, check out our website thedrivershub.com and check out TDH Classifieds if you're looking to buy a cool car like this stage. 380. So subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.